we can talk about the staff, you could probably go through 200 of his players. And, and, and the first guy that comes to mind, I read a uh, quote from Chuck Long, as I understand it, okay, because Chuck and I are both uh, freshmen here the same year, right. 1981, but as I understand it, uh, they were trying to recruit Doug Strang, who ended up going to Penn State and had a very, you know, a good career, solid career uh, there. Didn't set any records, okay, but had a good career there. Uh, supposedly, they, uh, Doug Strang told me, you know, I was out, he was going to Penn State. They came out of the house, found a pay phone, 1981, 1980, and okay. dialed up Chuck Long, you know, Rotary probably. I'm guessing they might have had those little push things at that time. But uh, called him and said, you know, and at that time, I think Chuck had Northern Illinois, and they, he had uh, uh, North, Northwestern. Both of those programs don't even come close to resembling what they are now at that time. So, you know, it was a no-brainer, and as I understand it, Chuck threw about three passes a game for, for Jim Mercilius at uh, Wheaton North. So, a legendary coach there. Excuse me, but he was not a passing coach. So, you know, what, what did Coach Fry, what did Bill see in Chuck? And then Chuck comes here and writes every record that, that's ever been given. Um, and was a skinny kid when he showed up, kind of like C.J. Bethrick when C.J. showed up, just a skinny kid. Because, uh, we, like I said, we were both freshmen that year. So... Uh, so he just had a rare ability. I don't know what it is or what it was. And uh, in my case, uh, it's, uh, I don't know if it's ironic, but it's, it's interesting that um, the two people that probably impacted my coaching career, not probably, absolutely co impacted my coaching career more significantly than anybody was, was Joe Moore and then Coach Fry. The two of them got on the phone, and that was it. And we had, we had the luxury of uh, having some Iowa film because we were going to play Illinois the next year at Pitt, 1982. So we had the film sitting there. Coach Moore looked at the film, then he called Coach Fry. I knew exactly what to say, how to package me. And, uh, and then I wore one of Coach Moore's ties when I came here, and I think it was his sport coat, too. I don't, think, I don't know if I had a sport coat at that time. But anyway, so I uh, you know, interviewed him when I came down. I mean, unless I blew the job, I think I had. I really believe that. And uh, I got home that night. I uh, called Coach Moore. He says, tell me everything that happened. I went all the way, you know, step A through Z. He says, you got the job. I said, well, what are you talking about? You know? <laughs> and sure enough, the next day, Coach Wright called and offered me the job. So, uh, but the two of them connected. And, you know, and as you know, I mean, Coach Wright, when you sit down with him, you feel like you've known him for 20 years after five minutes. It's just one of those guys uh, that uh, is the exact opposite of the interview I had with Coach Belichick. Exact opposite. They couldn't have been more different, uh, the interviews. And, um, yeah. But, but he had that rare ability, and that, that was the thing that really, again, the years when I left here, I, I thought long and hard about how did that happen, like how that decade, uh, what, what was his, like how did he know this, you know? Uh, and I, I, you know, again, you go back to the Tiger Hawk, the ANF thing, I mean, that, he was just such a visionary that way. Um, but with, with people, um, you know, I mean, every, every, he had just this collection of guys, supposedly Bill Brazier didn't have a job. Uh, Rod Rust had been fired at North Texas, and Coach Fry said, you know, I want you to stay on the staff. You know, we'll start from there. Snyder was at, uh, Bill was at Austin College, I believe. Carl Jackson was an assistant high school coach. He tried to hire Joe Washington Sr. Joe wouldn't go. Joe Washington Sr. says, hey, we have a young guy here who's outstanding, Carl Jackson, as good as I've been around. You know, so, I mean, he just, he saw things in people that, uh, you know, he was able to ignore resumes and, a uh, good lesson there, and I think that's true in all walks of life, you know, just don't look at those, you know, you got to look at it, resumes for a starting point, but boy, it's more about the people and how they're thinking, what they've got, what, what can they offer, and then most importantly, how do they fit, and the coaching staffs, um, it's a team, it's chemistry, just like a, a football team, and you can't have chemistry in a football team if your staff doesn't have that chemistry, he understood that better than any, you know, that's uh, uh, one of the best lessons I think I ever learned from him, not that he ever explained it to me, but it was just, you know, from watching uh, and, again, reflecting, you know, why did that work? Why was that decade so special? Why? And it was just total dumb luck that I, I walked into it, I swear. It's just because it was an advertisement on the board by the copy machine at Pitt. So, I mean, that, in those days, that's how jobs got posted, right? They were posted up there, and it was in spring, right? Clovis left uh, after May recruiting, I believe. And that's not when coaches get hired, so the whole thing is just so random that, you know, it's uh, – but I, he's the only guy in the world that would have recruited or offered me an interview. And I remember, I guess, I was sitting at that desk in uh, the GA room there, Pitt. Um, you come in, hang a left, and I had, like, the second seat there. I'm sitting there looking at the cabinets, and, you know, he says, I think you're too young, you know. But, listen, I, it's against my better judgment, but I'm going to put you on with my assistant, Rita. I remember, like, yesterday. 
she's going to get you a flight to Cedar Rapids, and we'll, you know, look forward to meeting you. Like, Cedar Rapids? Where, where is this? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what it was. So, I mean, I remember that like it was yesterday, clear as day. And then Barry's the guy picked me up at the airport. We grew up 15 miles from each other. High school coach from Mason City. Dan McCrone had recommended Barry, and Barry had won a state championship. And you, you know, you said Barry for five minutes, you say, hey, this guy's, this guy's good. So, you know, Coach Fry figured that out really fast. And, you know, the rest is history there, too. So it's just a great collection of uh, all of us were just happy to be here. We are just happy to coach. And we all cared about winning, you know. And uh, it's a pretty good deal. And that's when I go out and be in Nebraska first game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what the hell. So it was pretty good. It was a pretty good deal. And things just kept kept going.